gotta hate to see it. Egg whites, fat-free cheese, one whole egg. We got coffee here with Splenda, a little bit of creamer, just a little bit of creamer. And if you have been around the channel for a long time, or you were around the channel for like the last, I don't even know how many months, then you know, this is like a classic, classic prep meal for me. But we got a new plan going on here. So kind of explain the title of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and like get it off the back. No clickbait, we actually have a new plan. Right now, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a mini cut. I'm going through this phase right now where I think my bulk post show got a little out of control. I know that you are supposed to gain some weight after the show, but I think I'm up around 35 ish pounds. And with the way that I'm eating now, I will easily, easily be back up into the 200s. And we are entering almost two months post show. And I don't care what anyone says, I think that weight gain is just a little, little too fast. So, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna cut back down to what I feel like is a good starting weight. And I'm gonna put up on the screen here, I think we're about eight to nine weeks out here to our prep. Where I feel like I really was like in love with my physique. I know that sounds really sus, but I was in love with my physique, man. I felt really full, tight at the same time. And honestly, my mental and everything felt great. Like I love cardio. I love how much food I was eating. It was fairly easy at that time. That was before, you know, the mental, the side effects, everything started kicking in. And I think that was around about 185 to 86 pounds. So right now I think I'm at about 195 pounds. So I think a 10 pound mini cut will give me that starting weight that I want to be at. And then I'm going to lean both up a good 10 pounds but anyway that's the plan i will go into that a little bit more later right now i'm about to eat these egg whites that does not look very appealing and then we're gonna head out we got a couple things going on today so i'll catch up with you guys in a bit whoa damn whoa you need the red carpet you look like a movie you need the red carpet I don't know how I ended up in a Starbucks drive through line. I told myself a few days ago, I need to start eating groceries. I need to stop going to these damn drive through lines. And I ended up right back here in the drive through line. But I'm about to head to Jeff's place right now. I know I'm not gonna be home for another bit. We may go play basketball after hanging out at his place and uh, getting some work done. So I gotta get something on the go. That's my excuse. I can't go a few hours without eating. Spinach, feta, egg whites, and then we got a iced coffee with Splenda and cream. Really reminds me of prep, because I used to eat these things probably like, maybe like four times a week, but I bet you this tastes like cardboard right now. I could see how this could be good dieting, but now that I'm not dieting, and I've been eating like everything under the sun, it's a solid like five to six out of 10. You look like you're not hooping, bro. <laughs> you hooping or you laying down? Dude, you about to get busted again. What? Busted again. The last time that me and Danny played basketball together, whooped him. <laughs> you yeah, guys. Though, I think you... I hit three shots and Rashawn dunked on me, I think, like 12 times. I dunked a couple times. It was, like, it was good. It was good. Honestly, Maybe he's sad. he's probably better than what you guys think, though. Is. It was competitive. It was very competitive. A lot of trash talking going on. It's all good though, it was fun. Just go ahead, give your excuse, bro. It was dusty, you know. What about the shoes? Your shoes are good? No, they weren't. No, bad good. shoes. Yeah. Went to Foot Locker right after, got some new ones. <laughs> Be ready today. Oh, King's Court, game to seven. Oh. Oh. Was that in? I mean, yeah. It doesn't sound like it. Yeah. Did that go in, no? That was close. That was a close spin dunk. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Possible game. Jeff's got a score here. He's gonna get blown by. Watch. Damn. We just knocked out maybe an hour of basketball. We were actually planning to go out there, shoot a couple hoops and then leave. And I knew in my head that we were gonna end up playing a game because some people were gonna come. Danny always wants to play a game, which is not a bad thing, but I didn't bring my basketball shoes. So I feel like I could have rolled an ankle, but we made it out of there alive. We had some fun, it was all chill. I was talking to Jeff earlier about my new plan that I told you guys about in the beginning of the video. And uh, what he was recommending earlier was he was saying, if I was to do a mini cut, don't do a aggressive mini cut do like a, I think you said one to two week mini cut and then really focus on having a good program, going into a slight surplus, even maintenance to do sort of like a recomp and gain strength while running a new program instead of aggressively doing a cut and then, you know, trying to go into a, you know, a, a bulk bulk. I don't know, it, it could be just like, like you said, just spinning your wheels, doing it that way. And I mean, I'm gonna end up gaining 
effect all the way back that I cut if I didn't do like a really meticulous clean bulk. And that's kind of what I'm not trying to do. So I do like this approach. I was thinking going like one to 200 calories over maintenance. I don't know how you feel about that. I would never recommend anyone at, out of a show yeah. as close as you are doing like a full on cut again. Cause you yeah. just like, basically put all your hormones that are recovering back in that spot where they were. You're actually really primed for growth. You put on a ton of size, like in the last little bit, right? Yeah. But if you put on a little too much fat, cause you like overshot a bit, mm -hmm. yeah, do a little mini cut, get back to the point where you're comfortable for like a week or two tops, I would say. Right. And then body recomposition, because you're so primed for growth now, yeah. that even if you're at maintenance, you'll get leaner. You'll look tighter mm -hmm. as you build muscle. So it's like, rather than just going like, crazy with the food and gaining fat and muscle, mm -hmm. you can gain pretty much pure muscle and mm -hmm. then your body fat percentage will naturally go down True. right? as you build muscle, pure, like True. lean muscle, right? So I think that's pretty good advice. I mean, I kind of trust his judgment with everything. So as far as bodybuilding and stuff like that, obviously, but like he's, he's obviously the go-to guy for bodybuilding and stuff like that. Like I was thinking 10 pounds, but I think even five to six pounds could be you know, achievable in two weeks because I usually lose weight at about two to three pounds a week. It's up to you. I just think that if you, if your goal is to look leaner, mm -hmm. the best thing for you is like maintenance calories and you'll naturally drop some of that water weight and some of the like new fat that hasn't redistributed yet as mm -hmm. you build muscle. So it's like- So you think I should just patient. go to maintenance instead of cutting? Well, if you're uncomfortable now and it's mm -hmm. like, eh, I'd rather be a little bit leaner before I, you know, start this like building thing. Yeah. I would do like, you could do a week diet where you aim to drop like three or four pounds of water and mm -hmm. then it would be like, like, let's get on with it. Like, mm -hmm. I think that your physique is going to look better mm -hmm. if you do a more of like a lean bulk slash recomp approach. Mm -hmm. Not bulk as in like, I'm going to gain fat and gain muscle. I'm going to build muscle through while hard main training while yeah. maintaining my fat, but it's going to redistribute and you're going to look leaner. Okay. Trust me, bro. Like it, it'll be real. It'll, it'll be crazy. Especially if you get your training in check. That's the high, pro high protein intake. Like higher than you're probably used to mm -hmm. used to track your macros be on point with your nutrition and then you'll you'll build muscle while getting leaner everybody thinks it's like oh that, that can never happen naturally but like mm -hmm. if you're primed for growth like you are now it absolutely 100 percent can i've seen it a million times i think so too i'm going to bro <laughs> i don't know if you guys no, can no. see this but like bro no, the sucks. windows <laughs> are fogging up right now <laughs> as we're having this talk maybe because we just played ball we're yeah. sweating so hard <laughs> i'm gonna end the video right here i'm actually going to do two videos today uh, but I'm gonna end the video right here and um, I'm gonna split up the gym portion into another video because I'm actually gonna run a new program it's gonna be Jeff's upper lower program so that's gonna just be way too long I know this video is already like 10 minutes so I think I could do a really cool video with that uh, as I go to the gym tonight so I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video if you're new join the crew subscribe to the channel leave this video a like before you leave and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one I'm gonna